when I started, there were no women trial lawyers and there were no women judges. Um, uh, the women's movement was not just something I was doing to represent people in, it was me. We were the women's movement. I, when I represented a woman who was sexually harassed, it was because I had been. Or when I represented someone who was denied tenure, I hadn't been denied tenure, but I knew about academic politics. So it, 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 it was very, very personal. Even when I represented a woman who was accused of killing her husband, I, I understood the way she was seen. I understood the way I was seen. I understood how complicated it was to tell her story. Um, in a criminal law framework that privileged men's stories and not women's stories. So um, it was me. We should be, as a society, supporting women's daycare and all of those kinds of choices. And there are people who have talked about that, people at Harvard talk about uh, the, hourly, the hourly rate is something that, in fact, uh, winds up hurting women because the efficient woman, one of my clerks is a, is a mother and comes, leaves at five to, to be with her child and she is fabulously efficient during the day. In a system which, uh, in which she's valued in direct proportion to spending more time than the, than the task requires, she'd be terrible. The fact is she's extraordinarily efficient mm -hmm. and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. the, if the law firms begin to value efficiency and doing what makes sense to do in a case rather than billing, Maybe they would value the woman who can manage to get that done more than they do. So your communities help you balance this kind of stuff. And when the communities don't, then individuals are forced to make choices, which I don't think that individuals should be. Some of it is always individual, but I think we can support families more than we do. As a judge, I was going to use this bully pulpit to talk about uh, what firms should be doing about women and to make sure that no one, you know, every time I was asked to speak, it was not going to be self-congratulatory. Look at me, I'm a judge. Thank you very much. We don't have to do anything more. I'm going to continue to do that. Um, I'm going to continue to write. I'm going to continue to speak at, at meetings that, and, and, and try to get everyone to understand that we are losing demonstrably talented people when we don't figure out how to accommodate for families and women.